Thank you so much to Sunny Optical for sponsoring today's video. I am absolutely in love with this show. Yeah! We've got a bit of a messy moment. We've got books everywhere. Why is this book a little bit taller? Ew. Hello, book reading friends. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Mel and today I bring you a super different style of video, but one that I am very excited about. Now, when I was thinking about content for the new year, I was mostly thinking about what things are book related yet sort of different that I haven't necessarily incorporated into my channel. Now, I have done the classical bookshelf tour where I show you every single book on my collection, but I've never necessarily done a bookshelf organization sort of video. I did when I built my shelves, but not a lot after that. And the reality is I reorganized my bookshelves a lot last year. Now that we're here, I feel the need to reorganize the shelves. I don't know if I have a rhyme or reason as to the end result. I don't even know what the end result is going to be. So we're going to figure this out together today. And before we walk into the actual reorganization part of this, which will take forever, I do need to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is Zenny Optical. Now, if you guys have been noticing, if you guys have been paying attention, both in the last video and this video, I've been sporting a new frames. I felt the need to kind of revamp them walking into the new year, and Zenny Optical really came in clutch with these new pairs of glasses. Now, if you guys are not familiar with Zenny Optical, it is essentially an online website that sells super high quality and super affordable frames that you can customize however you want. Prescription, non-prescription, blue light blocker, sunglasses, and you can choose everything in regards to color as well for the frames and the hues of the lens themselves. I am fairly new to wearing glasses and it's mostly to read and also a stylistic choice for me. I love wearing them. And so the first pair that I chose, I love kind of classic frames. I don't tend to play with color a lot where these sort of shell round glasses. They're super big. They frame my face super well. And the prescription in these, you guys, it is literally hands down the best prescription that I've gotten so far. The next pair of glasses I chose were these brow line glasses. They are incredibly dainty. They are super thin and I love them. I have always kind of dreamt about these hat line sort of glasses. This time around, I really wanted a pair of glasses that had no prescription, something that I could use for my computer when I'm working, only blue light blockers. And so I chose the Sepulveda round glasses and these are everything. These are the ones that I wore in my last video. And because I love that last style so much, I also got sunglasses in the same style with a green tint on the lens. One of the coolest things about Sunny Optical too is that it makes the shopping experience incredibly easy because they have a virtual try-on feature that will literally scan your face and you can try on the eyeglasses from their website and that feature will make it extremely easy because then you'll be able to categorize by face shape, color, and style which makes the experience super easy. So if you do want to check Zenny Optical out, I will be leaving my link at the top of my description so that you guys can go peruse their site, see everything that they have to offer and to potentially get some new frames for the new year as well. So thank you so much to Zenny Optical for sponsoring today's video and let's get into the bookshelf reorganization. Let's go! So this is what the bookshelf looks like right now and again a lot of books and there's just so much happening but you can also see that there's a lot of books that are just kind of thrown on there. Then there's a lot of empty areas because I took books out of here and put them in my office area. I don't know if I want height order or this. I feel like I do want height order. I kind of want to try that again and see where it takes me. And I feel like since I've unhauled so many books and I've ushered new ones in, I, I think I have a better semblance of what it would look like if I did. And this time around, it would have a little bit more order. We'll see what happens. The reason why I did this though initially was because I didn't want to worry about having books all be the same size. But I feel like this can be so much more and it can be so much prettier. Like, yes, this is pretty, but I also feel like I've rationalized the fact that it is, it's ugly, but it's pretty, if that makes sense. In order to get a better vision of things, I'm gonna have to take all of these off the shelf and see where I go from there. So I think that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Welcome to my floor. Okay, we are gonna get started on organizing these books by height. I think that might be like my best bet and kind of start putting them on the shelf as I have kind of like 10 to 15, 20 books at a time that are the same height. So I don't even know where to start. I mean, I guess I do have a lot of taller, like book of the month size hardcovers. So maybe this is a good starting point because they're all kind of near me.
so we are here this is what the bookshelf looks like right now everything has been sectioned off into height order so that part is 10 out of 10 still have some books on the floor though that i couldn't allocate in the actual bookshelf area so i will get a better sense of space once i start kind of like putting everything in a trifle place great starting point and we can now start organizing stuff and making sure that everything looks good and kind of figure out the color order and all that good stuff so i am excited let us get started oh my god <laughs> literally facetiming with a friend and the way that the honk just went yeah we've got a bit of a messy moment we've got books everywhere looks everywhere on high order hello books to dispatch a few books and put them on the shelves now that they've been kind of organized by height kind of free of space and <laughs> keep on going i'm looking at some paperbacks and trying to figure out what's the ugh. see paperbacks are going to be a little bit trickier because a lot of them are not the same size but i'm going to try my hardest here see some of them are like they're cut wrong like they're kind of tilted i will just have to forgive them i thought i'd take this opportunity and talk to you guys and just babble about what's been going on lately i took a break as you guys would know it was a week-long break all of the trucks today all of the motorcycles i managed to start new shows finish series and start and finish movies obviously and one that i started watching during my break which was actually pretty freaking neat is ted lasso i am absolutely Absolutely in love with this show. Jason is so funny as Ted and just the humor just it works for me. So lighthearted, but still packs a punch where it should. It is literally just incredible, and I don't know why it took me so long to watch it. But we're almost done with season two. I also managed to squeeze in a rewatch of Euphoria since the new season is coming out. My brother was also watching it for the first time, and he really, really enjoyed it. And what else have we watched this week? We watched Don't Look Up, a very mediocre movie, very mediocre execution. So tonally deaf, I could cry. I started watching The Matrix movies, which I've actually never watched before. Before. And I started my rewatch of Shark Tank. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I absolutely love Shark Tank. When I was younger, I mean, I, I didn't necessarily want to go the business route, though at one point I did when I started doing makeup because I obviously did start my own business entrepreneurship project with the whole makeup thing. And so I <laughs> loved watching Shark Tank even then. And I it's been a minute since I've watched it, actually. And it makes just like such a great show to watch watch as I eat because it's not something that I necessarily have to be watching but I can just listen to and I kind of grasp the concept and it felt like the longest week of my life I'm not gonna lie I was not used to taking breaks you guys know me <laughs> if you've been here for a while then you know that I would be what you could catalog as a workaholic I don't know how to pace myself don't know when to stop myself my work is my escapist if my work is my life and in so many different ways I have let my schedule rule me instead of me ruling my schedule which is not a healthy way to live I think especially given the fact that I work from home I do everything from here here it's so hard to have that separation between life and work and it's very hard to say i'm clocking myself out going to bed and so it very quickly became something that was not fun or healthy for me i literally reached the point of burnout without realizing that i was burned out i was so far into it that i couldn't even tell what it was and so it took a few friends sitting me down and being like mel what's happening and i went shit i don't know it was the best decision I could have ever made. I feel so energized and healthy and I have figured out kind of like a schedule for myself that is a little bit more quote unquote normal than what I was doing before. It feels a lot more 
tangible and substantial versus what I was doing before, which was not sleeping, not eating, and just working constantly. Right now, I'm kind of constantly trying to break out of this cycle of work and work and work and not much else. Why is this book a little bit taller? Ew. It's been a journey, I'm not gonna lie, and it's been difficult, also not gonna lie, but it, again, the week serve its purpose, and we are at a much better place, if I do say so myself. Just a lot of balance, and again, reassessing how I've been doing things for a while. Ooh, okay, we are making progress friends and i am just super ready to put everything that i've learned about myself and that i have kind of set for this year into practice i think also a big part of this break was kind of goal setting for the new year and kind of making sure that i had a clear aim of what sorts of videos i want to put up what sort of content i want to be creating and all of that good stuff so again it really served its purpose for a number of reasons and i think more than anything i just kind of had to ground myself and figure out exactly what approach i wanted to take to my work and my video making and content creation this year i'm so excited for everything patreon related i am so excited for everything youtube related i just think everything's gonna be so much more fun let me kind of speed through this and then we'll come back and we'll figure it out then as to what we're doing <laughs> angle i know what i think i'm gonna do here is kind of put the books that i'm gonna read relatively soon i uh i ran out of space on the shelves and uh that's where we're at
today. That was my bookshelf reorganization overview tour. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up down below and also comment down below. What system do you use for your bookshelves? I feel like I'm always constantly asking that question, but I'm genuinely curious. Do you organize by color, by author, by height? Do you do mix and match by genre? There are so many ways to organize your bookshelves. I feel like I've done it all by now. I've done height before. I've done color coded before. I've done by genre. I've done alphabetical within genres and it's just been, you know, a journey with figuring out what works for me and I constantly switch it around as you can tell. So definitely let me know all of that down below. Let me know what you're currently reading. I feel like that's always a good prompt to, to create some sort of discussion in the comment section and let me know what you think of the new setup. I am genuinely so excited. I feel like it also looks 10 times better than what I had before and this feels at this point in time more me than the other setup. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. I am constantly uploading videos that I am sure you do not want to miss and if you want to support the channel further I do have a Patreon. We call ourselves the Citadel and there is a bunch of exciting stuff happening over there as well. We have exclusive videos, a Discord server, live shows, and a bunch of stuff that you're not going to see here. So if you do want to join us, the link for that is always in my description alongside all of my social media. Once more, thank you so, so much to Zenny Optical for sponsoring this video. If you want to get new frames, customize them, use your prescription or not if it's a stylistic choice. I will be leaving them linked at the top of the description in case you guys want to check them out and renew your glasses for the new year. So thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. I love you guys and I shall see you on the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.